Hello world, this is Random Fix, and twice this month I've actually done a review on the scan tools from Think Car guys, and I've sent back scan tools from other manufacturers, about four of them because the quality is very, very poor. However, these guys are amazing. I don't know who is developing their scan tools here, guys, but this right here is under $200, and currently on Amazon it's about $220 with the $40 coupon making it $180 and this ThinkScan Plus is amazing. So I'm going to cover with you guys this actual scan tool today. It comes in a couple of different variations and I'm going to show you guys this in use on the Sprinter here resetting something that more advanced scan tools don't have the updates or the capability to do and the nice thing is you could even go ahead and select what features you want to go ahead and activate so I'm going to show you guys that in depth, so stay tuned. So these scan tools have actually come a long way since I first started using them about almost uh, 20 years ago now. And they are so simple to use guys and the very first time that you use it, it often pays for itself. So this is the OBD2 connector here and in your vehicle in the driver footwell area you're going to see a port and this is called the OBD2 port right here and these connectors only go in one way so if you don't know anything about cars and you've never done this before guys I'm going to show you guys this is a very simple process it automatically powers up and to go ahead and diagnose something on your vehicle maybe you got a check engine light maybe you got an airbag light from removing a seat while you're cleaning the carpet whatever it is super easy process all you have to do is go ahead and turn on the ignition so put the key in the ignition turn it to where the motor is about to turn over and if you have one of these push button starts go ahead and hit the button with your foot off the brake pedal and you want to make sure your check engine light is illuminated now you can go ahead and use the scan tool. So this is the scan tool right here, guys. This is a ThinkScan Plus. This is going to be the 4S model. And I'm going to cover with you guys later on what you get with the 4S, the 2S, the S7, and the S6. So stay tuned for that. But on this particular model, it's pretty cool because even though this is under $200, guys, it's got Wi-Fi built in. It's got a bunch of features, which I'm going to cover with you guys. The most important is that it comes with lifetime updates. This is such a big deal, guys, that you could be potentially paying $250 a year for updates with other scan tool companies. And these guys from ThinkCar give it to you for free for life. How cool is that? So this scan tool, so far from me, gets about an A-. minus. And the only reason this gets an A-, minus, guys, is because it's got a little tiny glitch. But I've figured out how to work around this. What you do is you want to make sure that your device is connected to the internet. So if you're in your vehicle like I am and you're far away from your actual router, what you can do is hotspot your phone. So I'm using the connection on my phone to go ahead and give this scan tool Wi-Fi. So go ahead and hit settings. And you want to go ahead and scroll down to where it says network. Make sure the network is on. And you can see that I have a Wi-Fi connection right there. I got the battery voltage right there. So that's pretty cool. So if you're working on your vehicle and you see your voltage on the battery drops below 11.9, it might be a good time to go ahead and put the battery on a charger. And then you want to go ahead and come down to where it says app data. Click on this and go to OTA. So all the updates are actually done over the air, which is great since you don't have to download any kind of funky software onto your computer where it has to communicate with the device, something can go wrong. This is much, much easier going directly to the server, it validating itself and just updating on Wi-Fi. You wanna make sure you do this update right here first. If this update is not done successfully, the other updates really just keep turning and just don't install. I have no idea. So if you guys are watching this video and you're from ThinkCar, I'm giving you guys some great feedback. And I do want to thank the vendor that sent this over to me. 
and I'll have their link down below. So if you guys want to check out the product and get some special pricing, make sure you check in the description box. So go ahead and make sure you do this update here first. Other than that, this thing is a complete winner and I'll show you guys why. So you go ahead and hit update and I went ahead and installed 92 updates. So this is all included, right? So you're also gonna go ahead and get on the S4 model. And on the S4 model here, we get ABS, SRS. We got the ECM, we got the TCM. And so that's the engine control module, transmission control module, and body control module. You also get three additional pieces of software that you can go ahead and select. So maybe I wanna go and select ABS bleed function. I can go ahead and do that. And these are the other ones that are listed here. So I'm gonna show you guys that in action, but this is all updated and we're ready to go. So make sure the very first time you get it, do that update that I just showed you guys and then do the updates here and everything will work nice and smooth. Now we're gonna go ahead and go to the Think Store. And it lets me know that I can get three optional service features. So I can go ahead and get ABS bleeding, battery matching. So this is a really great feature if you have a BMW, for example, right? We got the electronic throttle relearn, oil reset, steering wheel angle reset, TPMS reset. So this is just probably basic TPMS and doesn't really include like coding. So airbag reset injector coding the odometer C calibration sunroof reset transportation mode and window calibration so I'm gonna come up here and actually choose the ABS bleed function on here I'm gonna do battery matching and I'm gonna go ahead and also hit the steering wheel angle reset. So I'm gonna go ahead and select these, hit obtain free. Now I got those three enabled. And if I wanted to buy additional, it would just cost me $29. Or you can go ahead and purchase an updated model, or you could purchase an updated model and get everything included. So now I can go ahead and go to scan and you're gonna choose your make and you just go by the region. So I have American, European, Asian, Chinese, and upgrade. So I can pretty much do the upgrade from any screen here. And you could also swipe down like I showed you guys earlier. If you wanna increase the brightness, you can do that right there. Record the screen and we got a cut feature and we got an orientation button right here too. So you could turn it around if you like. So I'm gonna to go to European and go to Sprinter. And to reset this airbag light, guys, I called the Mercedes-Benz dealer. They wanted over $170. I would have to go there, sit around, and basically have them pay, charge me $170 for that reset. When I can go ahead and just buy this, and the very first time I use it, it pretty much paid for itself. Manual reset, I'm gonna go ahead and select Sprinter. And you choose a chassis. So this is a 907 Sprinter. So before I actually was able to reset this using the more advanced ThinkCar scan tool earlier this month, I pretty much tried so many different scan tools, guys. It would not work. None of them had the updates. These guys from ThinkCar included, even on the budget-friendly model right here, the ThinkScan Plus right here has this built in. So the 907 is here. And we could do a health report and a system select. So the health report is pretty cool. And we're gonna go ahead and just hit this right now just so I can show you guys on this video. Um, it says switch the ignition on. Ignition's on. We can verify that the check engine light is on. Hit okay. And it's gonna go through everything here. And depending on your vehicle, this may take about five minutes. And I have no idea why, but since this is a wired connection, this is going by really fast, guys. I did this on another vehicle with the Bluetooth dongle and it took about five minutes. So this is pretty crazy. Now you can go ahead and clear any of the codes you like or you can hit report. 
and it's generating the report right now. And the nice thing about this is I don't have to buy any additional software. I can go ahead and just hit email and I put an email address in here and I hit send and I have that. So if you're selling a vehicle, how cool it would be to include that PDF saying, hey guys, I have a health report here. Everything on the car checks out. So this is the actual report right here. And we're going to go down. Tells me what's happening with everything. Wow, look at that. All that information is there. SRS, there we go. Let's me know that there's something going on on the passenger side seat. So I can also view this as a PDF. And this is the PDF of that. I'm going to hit back. So I can go ahead and clear everything in here, guys. But before I do that, I actually want to come back in here and go to System Select and choose the orientation of the steering wheel. So this is a left-hand drive. And we're going to go into Body. And we're going to go to where it says SRS. So this is a safety restraint system. And you want to make sure your ignition's on. And we want to go ahead and read the codes. So this lets me know what's happening here. So I can go ahead and clear these fault codes. Turn the ignition off. So this is literally walking you through everything. So I'm going to hit the push button start button here. And ignition's off now. I'm going to hit OK. It's asking me to wait. 10 seconds. And it says turn the ignition on. Again, I'm going to push the button or turn the key. Keep your foot off the brake pedal so the engine doesn't start. Check engine light is on right there. We're going to hit OK. It says complete. Let's check it out here. There you guys go. And there we go. We can see that the airbag light is off. Super cool. And I want to show you guys this earlier. So if you guys are not familiar with scan tools or how all these actually work. So you have drive system components such as the engine control module. You have the transmission control module. Then you have body control modules. So for things that are related to the actual powertrain they're going to be under the drive systems so check out all those different modules you can access here and under body we have all of these pretty cool and I actually want to do a complete system wipe of this so I'm going to go ahead and just do a quick cleanup here just because what happened is when I got this vehicle, because of COVID, it sat around on the lot for a little while. And when the batteries on the vehicles get weak, it starts getting all kinds of error codes. So the battery is one of the most important components on the vehicle now. Hey guys, if you're enjoying this content, please make sure you guys give the video a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it if you guys are new to the channel. How cool would it be if you guys hit the subscribe button and just sub? It's completely free and it would mean the world to me thanks again and my car normally charges at 14.7 volts 14.8 volts right there and that's displayed now what i'm going to go ahead and do is clear everything but before i do that i want to make sure that the engine is off ignition is on and i'm going to clear up all this stuff here so we'll see this in action so clear hit yes now it's going to go through and clear everything up, turn off the ignition again, hit OK. Turn on the ignition again, hit OK. 
So everything's cleared up. So one of the things I can do now is I can come back in a week and do that health report. And if something's still there, I probably want to go take this down to Mercedes and get it checked out because we shouldn't be having issues with like this on a brand new vehicle. But again, the battery is going to make a huge difference. And this is a great tool for buying vehicles and maintaining your own vehicles. And before you pay a diagnostic fee at a dealership of 150 to 175 bucks, this can do some of your work for you. And for that reason right there, guys, I think this is a great investment to have in the vehicle. If you guys haven't seen any of the videos that I've posted before and you guys are new to the channel, you guys probably know that if you have a newer vehicle and it goes into limp mode, basically, which is a mode where the vehicle reduces the power. And let's just say you are on vacation about 500 miles from the house and something happens to your vehicle and your vehicle goes into limp mode, you're going to have one hard time driving that vehicle back home. So having a scan tool like this, you can go ahead and reset it and deal with the issue when you come back to the house, which is great. We have the OEM scans right here. So this is for the manufacturer side. This right here is just regular OBD2, which is onboard diagnostics protocol 2. And this started in 1996. So this scan tool right here, guys, will work on any vehicle 1996 and newer so we are in 2021 here so we got almost about 26 27 years of use of vehicles that we can work on so this is pretty much going to work on any vehicle that's on the road pretty much so we're going to hit obd2 and it automatically shows the protocol shows me the rest of the information about the vehicle and check that out guys 144 data streams support it so if i wanted to graph something or do charts I have 144 different items I can select. That is pretty impressive. Now I can go ahead and read the inspection monitor. So the inspection monitors are basically those monitors for when you're uh, smogging your vehicle and they go ahead and hook up your car to see if everything's working correct. Those are that. And we got live data. So we got 140 plus items that we can go ahead and check out. We got phrase, we got freeze frame data. So if the vehicle threw a check engine light on, what it would do is actually record that moment, what was happening and where the throttle positioning was, how what the outside temperature was. Pretty cool. We got a read fault codes, clear fault codes, and a bunch of other features here. So we're back to the main menu here. We also have maintenance and service on here. So those are those three special features that I went ahead and purchased. So I got an ABS bleed, a battery matchup, and I got a steering wheel angle sensor reset. We got the think file, repair info, updates and settings. So if you guys wanted to go ahead and change anything up, you could definitely do it in here. The brightness, the language, and we got time zones in here. So all in all, guys, this is a really great scan tool. And I have no idea why this was really fast. Maybe it's a wired connection. But I like that time savings there. Thank you again, guys, so much for checking out the video. If you guys got any questions about this scan tool or any other scan tools, please leave them down in the video box below. If you guys want to check out the whole Sprinter van build right here, I'll have a link to the build out video. And I'm thinking about actually giving the Sprinter away here on YouTube for free. So if you guys got any ideas for a possible contest or a giveaway, please comment down below. And I'll keep you guys up to date. Have a great day and we'll see you guys on the next video.